Hi everybody, this is Rebecca Frimmer here with Kitchen Table Consultants, and I'm here to talk to you about a webinar that we created with Grow NYC to share our crop costing tool. Today is just a short introduction to what that's all about so that you can make a decision about investing an hour of your time to learn more about integrating this valuable tool into your business. So why are we here? Why are we talking? We're talking because starting a new enterprise without understanding your crop costs is dangerous to your business. So let's say you have an offer to sell wholesale or farm to school or some other channel at a lower price than your retail. If you lower your price point, you could unknowingly be putting yourself into a losing position by reducing your profits. If you don't know what your cost is for that crop, lowering your price could put you in a position where you're losing money. You wanna make sure that you know you're making decisions that are profitable and for the long-term financial health of your, of your business. And so this tool exists to help you do just that. We built it as a predictive model tool. So as you go through the crop costing model, you can put in your estimates and then you can track over the course of the season against it. You know, a lot of the tools out there recommend that you collect data for a year and we wanted to make sure that we gave you something you could use at your fingertips right now to make decisions about price and uh, moving forward with new business opportunities. So I will show you a little bit about the model and tell you about the four things that it does and why we enjoy using it. So here we go. So this is a blank template of the crop costing model. I'm going to show you an example for baby greens where we walk through the template and it's built in a fashion where farmers enter their inputs in the peach cells and the gray cells automatically calculate. So you enter information about your crop and your yield and then what you want your profit margin goal to be. And from those income projections and the, then the percentage profit margin projections, we budget you some expenses. And then the idea is that you walk through the model spreading the expenses across all of the tasks and inputs that need to be done and then you see if you meet your margin goal and if you don't you can go back and see if you can modify any of your activities um, or inputs to make a lower price point or make lower cost point for your for your price point that you want to sell at and then you can see whether or not it's possible to make money doing what it is that you're trying to accomplish so as you move through the model you enter inputs about labor uh, direct input costs and then you go through all of the activities that happen in the field uh, with that particular crop and how long they take. And then it all calculates to give you a summary crop cost analysis that projects based on the number of beds, your total yield, your income, your direct costs, your labor, and then your margin and a cost per unit. The second thing that we really like about this tool is that we have a place down here for an opportunity assessment scenario. So if you're thinking about buying a piece of equipment to dramatically shorten the amount of labor and therefore labor costs that you have to put into this crop. It lets you estimate a return on investment with that particular item rolled into the cost for your crop over the course of the season. So we love that feature. We often get questions, we often got questions with this model about how to estimate the cost of the plant start if you're planting a transplant in the field. So we also added to this model a tab that walks through uh, estimating your cost of transplants so that you can then input that into the crop costing page. So this is a shorter model that you can walk through and it also gives you a summary of your uh, cost per start per plant here. The fourth feature that we've built into this model is a high tunnel return on investment tool. So if you're thinking about getting into high tunnels, or you have one already and you want to make sure you're getting a return on that investment, there's a tab in here where we recommend that after you sketch out your high tunnel layout and you know how much of each thing you're planning to grow, we give you a condensed version of the crop costing tool across all of these columns. And then when you get down to the bottom here in step eight, we can see uh, our cost of the tunnel and any reimbursement we may have gotten back and then our year one projected margins on the crops that we plan on growing our product mix there, and then the net impact against our purchase for the first year. So all of these tools are at your fingertips. There's a one hour webinar that you can watch um, that we created with Grow NYC in order to um, learn how to use these tools and see some examples. There's also some folks asking questions in the webinar, so you may have the same questions as well, and you'll see us answer those questions at the same time. These are all of the things that we talk about in the webinar. We talk about price versus cost by crop and what metrics are important there. We walk through an example with the margins. Uh, we walk you all the way through the various elements of the template and the high tunnel return on investment piece. And then we talk about how all of this impacts your whole farm budget and what are the next steps that you can do. Again, here is an example 
of the high tunnel return on investment tool and the information that we need to, an to enter. And then the question at the end is always, what do we do if uh, our crop isn't profitable enough or if our high tunnel model doesn't look profit enough, profitable enough? Well, the great thing about having a blank template that you can use as a tool is that you can save it and try it again. So you can try to shave some of the inputs or labor off of that particular crop and see if you can get it to be profitable enough. Or you can create a new product mix uh, for your high tunnel and see if you can get the outcome that you're looking for. So this gives you a tool that you can use and reuse over and over again for every opportunity assessment scenario that you might have that relates back to needing to understand your cost by crop. I am Rebecca Frimmer with Kitchen Table Consultants. Here is my phone number and my email address if you have any questions about our tools or if you are looking for a copy of anything that we've presented, please do reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you and I hope that you go online and watch the full crop costing webinar that we've created in um, collaboration with Grow NYC. Thank you so much for joining in today to learn what this is all about and we wish you lots of luck and success. Have a great day.